Hey guys, what's up? I am the Storm Child. <laughs> I'm Phil. <laughs> and today uh, we will check out another requested song and it is cool to do that together, a song we never heard before. I um, think it's the first, that yeah. we both know, don't know the song. Yeah, and that was uh, a few people telling us we do a song that we both don't know. Yeah. And so I just... So that was... What is... That was a request, the song yeah. was requested. Yeah, it was just on my list, I chosen some song and it's from the band I'm not sure about the pronouncement it's neither whore which is sound a bit it's H-O-R yeah maybe whore if you know the band tell us in the comments what is right probably it stands for something like uh, a whore honor <laughs> our right foot right foot in one word <laughs> yeah something like that no I'm sorry 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 band H-O-R I'm just kidding. Look at my whore, my, my whore is amazing. <laughs> Give it a lick. Ew, it tastes just like raisins. So, the song is called The Misanthrope, which <laughs> fits perfect when it comes to us. Uh, <laughs> so, when you watch this video, <laughs> it's just like... It, it, We're asses. Yeah, yeah. Alright? Yeah, it, it's not difficult to hate people when you watch this video. It's, so, not, <laughs> it's not difficult to hate us when they watch this video. <laughs> that is what I meant. It's so, like, um, official lyric video, no idea what's coming. So, we just give it a try. I know it's a long one, that's the only thing I know. So, huh? yeah, it's a long one! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Yeah. <laughs> what? I'll tell you later. So, yeah, with that said, let's do it.
All right. All right. That was surprising. That was really good, actually. Uh, I, d I didn't choose the black metal track. Okay. Yeah. I didn't. I uh, didn't. Yeah. Even Absolutely. though even though black metal is right up my alley. Yeah, but um, surprisingly, I really like it, especially the ending part. The ending bit is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I just great. love it because, and as you know, I'm not a big fan of a fade out, but in some kind of this melody in the ending part, it yeah. fits. It's, I it's have hypnotic. To it's hypnotic. This this um, uh, droning repetition is hypnotic, and it gets you in a zone. So yeah. I really like the ending bit, especially since. At least it felt like the guitars faded a bit quicker in the beginning than the drums. I'm not sure, but... I, I think so. Yeah. Uh, which, I don't know what it did to me, but it did something to me, so that was great. Yeah, uh, the ending part was absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Um, so, and it was not too long. It, I think it took uh, one and a half minutes or something, the ending part. But it doesn't felt that, because it was yeah. just like, oh, that... And you know that that is the ending. Yeah. Yeah. And also you know that there is a fatal coming yeah. in some way. Yeah. And that isn't a bad thing. As, because as soon as that like... part started, I was like, oh hell no, the storm child doesn't like fade outs. Yeah, but it, it, way one. before they started yeah. fading it. <laughs> so, so. But it worked out perfectly fine. Absolutely. I mean, um, quite frankly, because you know, I'm the angry guest, I'm supposed yeah. to be to be honest. Yeah, here. yeah, absolutely. Um, it's nothing too much out of the ordinary. It's okay. pretty much your your standard black metal, like um, a, a bit more on on the old school side of, side of things when it comes to to the so called necro sound, which con was contradicted by the drum sound. I'm not a hundred percent certain whether that was a real drummer or a drum computer. I think it was a drum computer just That's by the chimes think. sounds oh, yeah. Yeah. because that is always the problem. We both know that yeah. problem yeah and it was um the sound was good the sound was too good for this necro yeah. sound yeah absolutely. which does not say that it didn't sound good yeah. it's quite the opposite but because necro sound is supposed to sound shit um, um but this production didn't sound shit it sounded, no, no, it sounded the, good actually the, and it was it was quite nice to hear it with a clean drum sound yeah and yeah. um i really liked uh, the vocal performance and um, so um, it sounded so Desperate. Yeah, so I'm not the biggest fan of some kind of vocals, uh, you know well, that, uh, but I, I get it when it comes to such kind of music. Mm -hmm. um, so I know there are a lot of people out there who are just loving some kind of vocals and it fits also in combination with the lyrics and everything. Mm -hmm. And I can get the feeling. I'm not the biggest fan in this song. Um, overall, the sound was great from the very first second when it just kicked in. It was just like, oh, that will sound great. Yeah. All over, and that is a good thing. Yeah. With the vocals, it's just I'm not a fan. That's just my personal. Well, opinion. I do like that, and I really like it when um, those screams sound very desperate, and they yeah. did because some of of the clean voice came through the rasp. Yeah. So that is a very tough thing to do intentionally when you go in this raspy. Yeah. Like almost no it's not guttural guttural is deeper but you know what i mean when you go actually screaming either you do this fry scream thing that bands like the lincoln park right. do and whatever where there is a lot of clean vocals in there but having just a notch of clean vocals in there makes it sound so desperate yeah. and that he got that down yeah so um i really like that and uh, chapeau my friend it's uh if you're watching by the way <laughs> so uh, yeah. no that was that was really um that, that i really liked um, songwriting wise, it and was, it was, uh, it was, uh, I was really happy at the four minute mark when it just turned a bit different yeah. because, um, it wasn't bad the first four minutes, but it was just like, you need a change. Yeah. And they felt it. They felt it. And that is a good thing because yeah. it was definitely needed. Um, yeah, because yeah, you can go this way, especially on a long song, and that there's nothing wrong about that. But um, uh, but they have done it, so why I'm complaining? <laughs> so, <laughs> how, however, <laughs> speaking of things to complain about, and this is a minor issue. Yeah. Uh, um, I don't know how old this song is and how long the band has been working on new other stuff. I don't know. But the band seems to be a little undecided yet what they actually want to do. Because with the more simplistic guitar approach, they went for a, a rather atmospheric 
thing, and since we watched a lyric video, I couldn't help but read the lyrics as well. Yeah. So the first bit of, of the song is rather on the angry side that tries to have some shock value, but does not quite get there because it's been done a load of times. Yeah, of course. Um, and in the later half of the song, it gets more into the depressive, almost suicidal, right? I say almost on purpose because yeah. it didn't quite reach there. Yeah. So that is three things, not the atmospheric thing, not necessarily, but the angry shock value side and the depressive suicidal thing are kind of contradicting because if you put those two together, it sort of victimizes the songwriter. <laughs> so it's like, oh, you're, you're, you're mean and that's why I... So maybe, maybe you guys should think about that. But that aside... Um, you know, it's a solid black metal track. If if Absolutely. you like black metal, you can definitely check out H O R Horror, whatever. Yeah. Um, I did enjoy it. Yeah, and me too. And I'm not a big black a black metal listener. Just at all. Yeah, a little little bit from time to time. Yeah. Um. So. I'm not the one really to judge. So it's perfect that he's sitting at my yeah. side, um, because. Um, but I, uh, if I would be here alone, I would also tell that I like it yeah. because it sounded great. Especially, I'm not the biggest fan of black metal sound. <laughs> That's a big yeah. problem for me. And so, it doesn't matter how they recorded the drums or it's a drum computer. It doesn't matter if it sounds good. It sounds good. Mm -hmm. um, and I think also it would be really hard for uh, a drummer to play this song. This, well, it depends. This, it's, it's, it depends. It's, there are drummers out there that are doing that live on an everyday basis. Definitely. but However, this, good drummers are scarce. Yeah. They're hard to come by and I completely and 100% understand if there was a drum computer used, yeah. why they did. Absolutely. Um, we know that problem both. Everybody does. Yeah. I mean, everybody um, that tries to make music. Um, especially something like that when you have an eight and a half minute track in some kind of mid-tempo double bass playing. That is the most difficult thing for a drummer. Um, the drummer I talk to or listen to interviews, it's just like with 200 BPM, a double bass, uh, double bass is easier than on one really? uh, 40. I don't know why. I'm not a drummer, but I think it's like... It's that time, like... It's bigger emotions, yeah. Yeah. I have no idea. Maybe you can tell me that in the comments. If you are a drummer or a black metal drummer, but we are running out of battery, so we stop at this point. Yeah. Um, but oh, hey, thumbs up. Speaking of absolutely. thumbs up, leave us likes. Yeah. Hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Yeah. And check out HOR. Yeah, definitely. Tell us if Ooh. there is more good songs out there from this band and maybe we'll check out some more. Absolutely. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully we see us the next time. I'm Stormchart. I'm Phil. Bye.